Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, still working on industrial electronics N2, uh, which is a continuation of the question paper that we're working on on April 2021, uh, question paper on number five. That is where we are now. So you're not going to waste much time. As you can see, it, it was actually uh, a simple or a direct question, having a total of just 11 marks. So that's not a waste of time that you're going to have. Just going to quickly rush through it. Name uh, 5.1, we are given to name the regions in which a transistor is operated as the following. Name the regions. Remember the regions for the saturation, the cutoff, all those. You are supposed to name. Is it the active region? Is it where a transistor is going to operate? Okay, 5.11, when it operates as a switch. So when it operates as a switch, where is that part? That is the cutoff. Remember, guys. Uh, this is the cutoff region. And when it is an amplifier, that one is the saturation region. All right. So these are the two answers that we expected to have them. Uh, the 5.2 is now name three configurations of a transistor. What are the configurations, guys? You must be able to at least study this theory part so that you, you can be able to attempt these questions. They are direct questions, but they actually need you to work on more revisions. Okay, so 5.2, we actually have, it can be a common base, okay? So these are the configurations, so you can have a common base. All you just need is to take your transistor. This is a normal transistor, guys, okay? You just need to know the legs of a transistor. We have got the base here. We have got the collector and the emitter. So those are the ones that you're going to have, but just have common. So you're going to have the common base. Uh, you can have the common collector. That's another configuration. We can have uh, the common emitter. So that is what we actually have on these uh, configurations, just like that, three marks. Okay, then the 5.3, we're asked to draw a neat labeled transistor configuration of a common, guys, you see, even if you, you were confused, just imagine, here they're saying configurations of a transistor. Now they are saying, draw a neat label transistor configure of a common collector. So that alone was supposed you to give you some of the answers there to say, okay, if common collector is a configuration, then we can have these three. Okay, anyways, uh, maybe it was direct, then using a PNP transistor. So this one, you're supposed to have a PNP transistor. Take note, the transistor that you are using there, that is the most important part was failure to do that, then you can lose marks for raving a wrong transistor. Okay, so without wasting much time, I'm just gonna show you uh, the diagram, how it looks like. So that is what we have. Uh, we have got the input voltage, that is the waveform of the input. Then uh, C1, that is the capacitor, R1 and R2, which is our voltage divider. Then as you can see here, the PNP transistor is flowing in here. All right, then the base, uh, the emitter resistor, the C1 and the cell. So this is actually C1 and this is now C2, the VCC and V out. So that is what is important. So here take note how they mark all what I'm doing on these videos is to is for you guys to know what is required in your syllabus. How do you answer the questions? Okay, so that is what is important uh, in this platform. So each component there, including input and output is equal to a half mark. Then the PNP transistor, that's a one mark. So failure to have this transistor, then you're gonna lose one mark, which means you are now out of four then half mark for each component that you see. So make sure that you label all the components so that you obtain full marks. So that's it guys from Amazon African Motives, working on industrial electronics and two till we meet 